In this video, I'd like to go through the procedure for replacing the valve body on a 1 or 2000 series Allison transmission or 1K2K. The 1K2K series transmissions have gone through many changes since their inception. The best way to figure out which valve body your transmission has is using the serial number from the metal ID plate. These images show the different valve bodies and model year transmissions each one was used. The valve body being changed today is a 16-1792 group. This is the valve body used up until transmission model year 2005. The replacement procedure will be very similar to this one on all 1K2K transmissions. Start by chalking the wheels and place the transmission in neutral. Attempting to remove the valve body in park is very difficult. Drain the oil and remove the 12 pan bolts. Once removed, check the oil pan for large chunks of clutch or metal debris. If you find signs of an internal transmission failure, changing the valve body will not fix your problem. Fine clutch dust or minimal metal filings are considered normal wear and shouldn't cause any problems. Next remove the internal oil filter. Oftentimes the orange filter seal remains in the transmission main case, so make sure to take that out and put it back on the filter to prevent a double seal. You can use a flat screwdriver or an o-ring pick, just make sure not to gouge the seal surface on the main case. On the gray 20 pin connector, Allison recommends using a 30 to 32 millimeter wrench to depress the tabs and release the connector. With the tabs depressed, push the connector through the case either from the outside using the palm of your hand or apply very light pressure with a screwdriver inside the case. Now that the internal harness is loose, we can start to remove the 15 bolts that hold the valve body in place. This picture shows which bolts need to be removed to release the valve body. Do not remove all the bolts. I like to leave one or two of the bolts in the center finger tight so that when it's released from the alignment dowels, it can drain for a couple minutes. You can also take the detent spring off at this time. The selector valve pin may drop during removal. Just make sure to keep an eye on where it is so it can be reinstalled. This is really the only thing that may drop when removing the valve body. Using a wide screwdriver or pry bar, gently work the valve body off the guide pins. Never pry against any of the valve body sealing surfaces. Once released from the guide pins, be ready to take the weight of the valve body and remove. The assembly weighs 16 pounds. It works best to hold it by the reverse signal tube for better control. This is usually the point where the selector valve pin will fall out. If the selector valve and or pin falls out, check them for any damage, clean, and reinstall them into the valve body once removed. To reinstall the valve body, start by getting the harness connector close to the opening and inside the case. It does not need to be clicked into position at this time. Next, get the selector valve pin aligned into the slot in the detent. Line up the guide pins and use the handle of a hammer to seat the seal surfaces. Hand tighten one bolt in the center so it doesn't fall off the pins when placing your bolts. You can click the feed through harness into the case at this time. Make sure to start all bolts by hand and never use an impact or powered wrench of any kind to tighten the valve body bolts. Once all bolts have been snugged, use a torque wrench to tighten all of them to 110 inch-pounds. 
Start at one of the center bolts and spiral towards the outer edge. Feel free to mark the bolts that have been tightened with a paint marker. Reinstall the detent spring and make sure that the selector valve pin moves as it should when the transmission is shifted through the gears. There is no adjustment necessary for this. Put the internal filter in place making sure only one seal is used. The oil pan gasket is reusable as long as it's clean and in good condition. Start all bolts by hand and torque 18 to 21 foot-pounds. Make sure to inspect the drain plug seal for any damage before installing and torque to 20 foot-pounds. If you have any questions, please call 800-872-6697, email info at wellertruck.com, or visit our website, wellertruck.com. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment in the comments section. Thanks for watching.